it by Mendes Valdez for the lead. Oh! Dimitri Cookson. That's it. Cookson is going to the Sweet 16. Hall, oh, eight to shoot. Hall, oh, the runner. Loose ball. It's good. With 4.4 to go. Shannon. Don't want to foul. Shannon from the corner. Six. Fires. Go! Oh, oh. What a game! I am seriously fired up right now. I am getting goosebumps here. Yeah, it's it's here, ladies and gentlemen. It is March 17th, which means tomorrow is the first day of March Madness. The, the NCAA four. tournament, the first four, begins tomorrow. We're all here excited at the press box, and I know everybody's excited. All these basketball fans. I'm your host, RJ Stacey, alongside Will Macklin, Corey Mess, Jamie Hay, and Tim Probert. And we're going to get right into it here. We're going to break down our own little bracketology here. Mm-hmm. We're going to take each region. We're going to start with the West region, and that is going to be by Mr. Corey Mess. What do we got going on in the West? We're doing regional? basketball, right? We're not doing the Frozen Four. Uh, yes, we're definitely <laughs> doing basketball. <laughs> oh, I screwed up! Damn it, oh, Minnesota no. Quinnipiac. Oh, no. just two Quinnipiac. minutes. The whole weekend of prep, Will, and uh, you just wasted it all. Come on, I got Colgate. <laughs> and, uh, I got Ferris State. Canisius. Canisius. Damn it, Boston Minnesota College, State. Belmont, uh, Wisconsin, all the way. Uh, All right. Well, uh, well, we'll start. Uh, I'll start with the number one, and it's uh, Arizona versus Weber State. That's going to be an easy win for Arizona, gentlemen. Alex Gordon is going to carry them to that win. Uh, the next game we have Gonzaga and Oklahoma State, the eight versus the nine matchup. Oklahoma State, of course, uh, with Marcus Smart, but I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Ooh, I like what they got little going Canadian, on there. Ooh, little Canadian content. Got some Canadian. That's action. Jamie right there loves the Canadian Ooh, content. Yeah, boy. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Dude, you've known me uh, for how long? That's, I know, I, that's yeah, my I everyday know. speech. Like, come I on. really know by now. Uh, Mark Frey gets him going at Gonzaga, so yeah. I'm going to go with Gonzaga there. Um, the 5 versus 12 matchup, and I know I have some allies in the uh, in the room here. I'm going North Dakota. Woo! 12. Oh, okay. North Over Dakota, Oklahoma. baby. Okay. Oklahoma. Not love feeling it. Oklahoma at all uh, this year, and so uh, not a lot of, uh, I do not have a lot of Big 12 picks. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the selection committee loved the Big 12. I did not. Me neither. Uh, so I have uh, North Dakota State moving on there. Uh, Steve Fisher and San Diego State I have moving on against New Mexico State. Canadian uh, content there in New Mexico State as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And uh, and I've always liked Steve Fisher. Uh, really want to see him uh, get a championship uh, uh, after uh, he, he won one at Michigan and then got kicked out at Michigan yeah. following all the Chris Webber stuff. Uh, next on the list, I we have uh, number six, Baylor against number 11, uh, Nebraska. I'm going Baylor in that one. Uh, following that, uh, we have you like mo- Nebraska ball. This is the one we all love I, I, here. Uh, yes, this is the this is the one we all love. Oh, do you like Nebraska ball, Jamie? I, I don't know. I like saying Nebraska ball. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it is pretty fun. Lincoln Cornhuskers. <laughs> Cornhuskers is also a great name. Probably yeah. uh, probably being chosen by a lot of people uh, picking the teams with the best names. That's, but yeah, I am not. Thing. I would have like. <laughs> Like the Panthers would totally murder a Buffalo, so it's totally weird. It, it's weird. Instead, instead of yeah, names, where would the I Blue usually... Jays uh, fall? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I, it's I'm weird. not even. Who? What are the Louisiana Lafayettes? The Raging, Raging Cajuns? Cajuns. Yeah, they they probably would uh, like beat the Blue Jays. Cajun dude. Um, <laughs> a Raging they, they Cajun. Blue Jays dude, actually. Really angry. Uh, but I have the Blue Jays beating the Raging Cajuns. Um, no. Uh, Doug McDermott. Uh, Doug McBuckets. Ottawa native Jahens Manigat. Grant Gibbs. The whole crew there. Ethan Roggy. Ethan Roggy hitting threes like it's his job. Because uh, um, it is. Yeah, it is. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's not his job. He's playing an amateur sport. That, not he's really not being paid. Whoa, whoa, let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves here. He's not What's being paid. What's his major? Figure out what his major is. <laughs> he's doing it for the love of He majors in getting buckets. He's in, he's in agriculture or something. Like, um, like all of them are. <laughs> Yeah. So, Jim, uh, <laughs> fitness and health. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so we have uh, we have the Creighton Blue Jays moving on. I have the uh, the Oregon Ducks. Oh uh, my being ducks! The, uh, like all those Mormons quack, over at BYU. Quack, quack. Uh, no Jimmer for that. Years old. <laughs> Jeez, ducks fly together. Yeah, they don't have Jimmer anymore. <laughs> no, no, he's uh, somewhere else now. No caffeine Weird. allowed. Where? The NBA yeah, maybe. He's on, uh, I don't think he's. I don't even know if he's in the Bulls. Yeah, I think he's in Chicago. Little Chi Town. 
And uh, and my no, final pick of the first round, I have Wisconsin uh, beating American. Uh, who uh, who are we moving on uh, for the next bracket? We are going Wisconsin. to move on to the South Regional, which the finals of that region will take place in Memphis, and that is going to be taken by Mr. Will Macklin. Hey, everybody. My name is Will Macklin. I'll be doing the South bracket today. Uh, first round, uh, Gator Nation versus round one of whoever wins um, in their uh, playing game. And I honestly don't care who it is because they're going to lose. Mount right St. Away. Mary's? Yeah, I did. Maybe. Not, not, maybe. Do you have a pick in that Albany Mount St. Mary's? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd say St. Ma- Mary's. It's there. the name thing. It's yeah, definitely the name thing. Definitely going to go Mary's, St. <laughs> Mary's over there. But uh, they're going to be out first round because we all know no 16s have ever beaten a number one seed in the madness of March. Hey, anything can happen. Anything can happen, but not this week can. No. Be- or this week because Florida has just earned the right to be the. Uh, the defending, or not defending, rather overall, being the, yeah. the favorite going into the tournament, yeah. the overall number one. So they're going to take out Florida. They're, Next bit whole, I got is uh, the number eight seed going down against the number nine seed, Pitt Panthers, Colorado. And uh, I'm liking the Panthers to take the mini upset, the nine beating the eight. Uh, I really, really like Lamar Patterson. He's uh, he's a pretty good player. Probably kind of reminds me of Paul Pierce, actually. Kind of a herky jerky score, averages about 17 points. So he's gonna take over this one and beat out the uh, the uh, Colorado Buffalo. Uh, next one, I have the VCU taking out uh, Stephen F. Fran- Austin. Sorry, Ooh. yeah, VCU. I think uh, is uh, is my guys there. I really really like their uh, their look this year. Uh, then I have uh, Tulsa versus UC. L A Heartbreak who, City baby. Who are them? Who are, who's UCLA? Oh, but the old UCLA, I think it's called. I love UCLA. Um, the guy to watch here is Kyle Anderson. He's been yeah. a, a great player all year. Um, he does things for the Bruins. Average doubles. Up, average about nearly 15 points, almost nine rebounds, and averages about 6.6 assists per Dirty. game. And uh, they uh, really impressed me this this uh, this past weekend, winning the Pac-12 tournament. So I really want to he- keep on keep getting that high going. For uh, for them. Next up is Ohio State versus the Dayton Flyers. Uh, a lot of people don't uh, don't really like uh, or or uh, Ohio State that much. Uh, the guys to look for in Ohio State is uh, LaQuinton Ross. Obviously, he's averaging about twenty points this uh, this year. But I'm going to go with the Flyers. I kind of I've always had a, a thing for the Flyers myself, so I'm going to go with them. I uh, really really like them. And uh, next up to go is the Cues versus Western the Michigan. Cues. The uh, the Crush had such a great beginning of the season and kind of just uh, faltered off a little bit. Uh, but I think they're going to take this one, being a three seed over the fourteen guy to watch this uh, this this uh, this tournament for the Syracuse Orange Men. Of course, is CJ Fair, someone yeah. who's been great for them all year, averaging about si- almost uh, sixteen points a game. Uh, next up is uh, Stanford versus uh, New Mexico, and I love the Lobos, buddy. Uh, New Mexico is going to take them out. I saw Stanford underperform in that tournament, and the guys to look out for here is uh, Cameron Bearstow. He's a monster. Uh, I'll talk more about him in the next round, but there's uh, the next one I'm going to go with is, uh, is, uh, is New Mexico. And then for my final... Uh, one, two, verse fifteen. I couldn't pick. Uh, couldn't pick against Kansas. So Eastern Kentucky gets down, and Kansas moves on. Ooh, that was going to be big for them too, because if they can get past uh, Eastern Kentucky, they may get uh, Mister Embiid back yep. from his uh, back injury. I believe. That's right. Yeah. So they're saying a- they're saying he might be up for the first round. Might yeah. be back for the second that's one. A, so. uh, that's a big, big return. If he doesn't come <coughs> back, Kansas might be in uh, might be in a little tougher than expected. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Embiid is a monster. However, so if he can come back. However, if uh, he if he is unable to come back, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Andrew Wiggins can do. Obviously, yeah, supposed 41 to. Points again. Yeah, I mean he's been playing a lot. Well, he's had an increased role since uh, Embiid went down. So, I mean, if he can maybe, uh, I mean, if Embiid doesn't come back, Wiggins maybe, uh, you know, wins a couple tournament games, maybe gets to the Sweet 16 or maybe even the Elite 8. You know what? I mean, it's going to be tough to, uh, you know, deny him that number one pick yeah. uh, as the number one pick. Uh, because, And also it's going to depend on what uh, Jabari Parker can do for Duke as well because uh, they, I think they might be able to get pretty deep in the tournament too. But we're going to get to Duke yeah. a little... Uh, yeah, we will. Yeah. And uh, even even in, even if Embiid comes back and has a monster tournament, he's in contention for the number oh, one Oh, yeah, that's well, what I mean. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, if, I, I mean uh, Andrew Wiggins might be able to leap over uh, Embiid, Embiid yeah. for the yeah. uh, number one pick. Although, not everybody thinks he's going to... 
There's, there, sure there's definitely a few, uh, a few options out there. It's a really deep draft. Anyways, yep. we're going to move on to the Midwest region, which will f- have the final in Indianapolis, and Tim Probert is going to take on that region. All right. Well, the first game of that is Wichita State against the winner of Cal Poly and Texas Southern, and much like Will and Corey, I believe Wichita State will just walk all over that playing game, so I believe that's basically a no-brainer. The next one Kentucky versus Kansas State. Now, this one, I think, is probably going to be the best game to watch for the opening rounds for that division, and I believe Kentucky is going to come out of that. I believe that they are just a much better team. Obviously, they got something to prove. They only lost by one against Florida yesterday and Sunday, so uh, Julius Randle averaging 15 points and James Young averaging 14. I believe Kentucky, not many people are talking about them. I believe they're a huge sleeper, so I think they could push deep, maybe get past the Sweet 16. The next game after that, St. Louis versus another playing game. That would be against Xavier or NC State. Now, I believe it's going to be Xavier. That's because I'm biased and I cheer for the Musketeers. But I also believe Xavier's going to pull the upset against St. Louis. So a, a 12 versus a 5, I believe Xavier is going to pull that huge upset. And that will be my first upset of the game. The next game following that one will be Louisville versus... Uh, give me one. Manhattan. Manhattan. Obviously, Louisville, the defending champions. Everyone has them... Seated for what I believe is too low, number four. It's too low for them considering they're the defending champion. So I believe that one will be a no, uh, no-brainer. no Next one, Massachusetts versus another playing game, Iowa State or Tennessee. I believe Iowa will get into there, but I believe Massachusetts will win that game. The one after that, Duke versus Mercer. Uh, if Jabari Parker plays like he has been all year, I believe Duke will advance there. I believe, like Jamie said, they can make a deep push, maybe get to that Elite Eight, maybe the Final Four if they get lucky, but I believe they will beat Mercer. Texas versus ASU the next game after that. I believe Texas, my Longhorns, will come out of that one. The number 7 against the number 10. And finally, Michigan versus uh, Wolford. I believe Michigan will come out of that. Nick Stauska is having a great year, averaging 17 point, or 18.3 points a game and averaging 3.3 assists. So yeah. I believe Michigan will come out of that, and he's a Big Ten player of the year. Canadian. Canadian content. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the region of death people are calling that one. Yep. Look at all the talent in that region. That's just I a, think they just put that one together so that uh, if Wichita, Wichita State yeah. comes out of it, no one can say they haven't played anyone exactly. good. Exactly. That I is think true. That might I think, be think it that too. might be a, the case of really this, their test. Yeah. yeah. I think that... Uh, I think that and for the record, I don't have there. them. I don't have them coming out of there. Yeah, I have <laughs> them I have them losing in the Sweet 16, so yeah. A lot, yeah, people have them, a lot of people have them. As do I. A lot fact. of people have them losing to Kentucky. So uh, yeah, I think they should. And now we're gonna head on to the East Regional, which will be played the finals in New York, and I'm gonna take that one. We're gonna start off with uh, Virginia taking on Coastal Carolina, one versus sixteen, no brainer. I really do like Virginia though, so I'll get to them a little bit more in the second round. Uh, the second one will be the eight nine game, which is Memphis versus George Washington. I have George Washington in this game. Just one I, guy named George Washington. Yeah, it's just one guy named George Washington. <laughs> he's a uh, beast. <laughs> he used, he's a beast. He used to, like, run the country of U- U.S. So, I mean... Yeah. Uh, he's yeah, got I, a lot of experience. <laughs> I really like George Washington. Uh, I think Memphis does not shoot the three ball well enough to beat uh, George Washington, who's won four of his last five, including against U of Massachusetts and St. Joseph's, who is the winner of the Atlantic 10. Mm-hmm. And the only loss was against VCU, who's obviously a very good team. Yeah. And Keith and Savage will be back, who's averaging over 13 points a game and has been out with a broken foot since January. Oh, so that is a big game uh, for them. And Isaiah Armwood has 12.5 points and 8.5 rebounds a game. Five George Washington players average double figures in scoring. Wow. So that is a really, really good team and a really underrated team. They could e- maybe even give Virginia a little bit of a run in the second round. Uh, second one, a trendy upset pick is Harvard. Lots of great shooters Ooh. on Harvard. But I'm going to stick with Cincinnati. Ooh. I think Cincinnati's too good of a team. The new uh, AAC conference got way underrated this year. Uh, Cincinnati's a great team. They score really well. They don't defend all that well, though, so if they don't defend, Harvard can give them a go. But I think Sean Kilpatrick and and Co. will be able to take down Harvard. Nick Svenexel will be very happy. Yes. <laughs> Next, we have a Final Four pick for many people, which is Michigan State. Who oh, uh, We're talking green today. It is St. Patrick's Day, and Michigan State is uh, has been on fire lately. They beat Michigan in the Big Ten tournament uh, in the finals. Only They're playing getting the four Delaware. Seed. Yep, only getting a four seed. A little underrated there, just like Louisville. Getting underappreciated there. Delaware, another team that I liked as a sleeper coming in, but not against Michigan. I think, or sorry, Michigan State. I think Michigan State's going to beat them. H to the Izzo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, next, we got North Carolina, the sixth seed against Providence, the eleventh seed. I have Providence in this game after winning the Big Great East. Great choice. Ooh. Great choice. Good taking pick. taking down a tough Big East, taking down Creighton in the finals in a really good basketball game. North not Carolina, a night, though, not a yeah. senior night. North Carolina <laughs> is very inconsistent. They shoot free throws at less than 50 percent 
So there's a lot of there's a lot of talent on the team, and they could honestly, if they play as well as they can, they could go all the way to the final four. But a game, a stinker against a very underrated team in Providence at the 11th seed. I think Providence is going to take Cotton. that one. Go Friars. Yeah. Friars. Next, we got Iowa State against number 14, North Carolina Central. I really like Iowa State. Melvin Edgem is a beast. Love him. Uh, Kane's also a beast. And uh, Melvin Edgem, Big 12 Player of the Year, another Canadian. Three Canadians won Conference Player of the Year this year. So, uh, and Vanderbeek went Canadian, there as well. Yep, so some Canadian content Jamie there. Jamie Vanderbeek. Really like Saint, uh, <laughs> yes. Iowa State. Next, we got Connecticut taking on St. Joe's. I got the upset in this one with St. Joe's. Woo! They shoot the three ball really well. They played really well in the Atlantic 10 tournament. Ended up winning against a lot of really good teams. There's four teams from that region in this tournament. Sorry, five teams from that region in this tournament. So St. Joe's coming out on top of that one is really good. And then finally, we got Villanova. I don't love Villanova, but they're going to beat the 15 seeded Milwaukee. Milwaukee. So, so we're going to head to the second round here, and we're going to head right back up to Corey Mess for his second round of the West <laughs> Regional. This should be good. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we we make things up a little. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in my bracket, I have Arizona taking on Gonzaga. And uh, I have my first number one seat fallen, gentlemen. Uh, Gonzaga Whoa. moving on past Arizona. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. That uh, I'm not convinced by Arizona at all, uh, oh, gentlemen. No. I uh, not a big fan of uh, of this team. Uh, Gonzaga actually averages more points a game. Um, uh, not, a big, re- not really a big nice fan of uh, twenty. What was it? Twenty five? No, not a big fan of that. No, I mean <laughs> we like, don't like that. Since then, uh, uh, we've had uh, big losses for them, uh, and uh, and I mean you look at uh, Gonzaga's roster. Canadian Kevin Pangos fourteen yep. points a game. Uh, Sam Dower, 14 points. Pangos might be uh, the uh, best shooter in the entire nation. Yeah, absolutely. And and a team that can shoot threes and uh, and move the ball like uh, like Gonzaga. I like them against Arizona. I think uh, I think they're really going to show up well against them. And yeah, I, I'm I'm not convinced that Arizona Arizona's the number one seed. Spokane, yeah. Washington. And uh, there's been a, there's been a, there's been a lot of eight nine uh, upsets over ones in yeah. the last few years. It's happened. Wichita State just last year made the final four yeah. from the uh, nine seed. Trend continues here. Yep. So it could be the world. trend continue. Butler before that. So the trend could be continuing. Northern Iowa, all these teams. There's, yeah. there's been one in the last few years. So uh, that looks like Corey's right there. He might have another one too. Uh, I uh, we'll, we'll we'll see. We'll I just see. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sold on the uh, the Arizona Wildcats. All right, uh, continue fair. with your uh, second round there, teams, or yeah. third round as uh, it is called now. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, continuing on. Oh God, I've ruined everything on my computer here. <laughs> oh no, right. everything's falling apart. Okay, so uh, we have uh, North Dakota State against San Diego State, uh, and I'm a, I'm a big San Diego State fan. I uh, I have them moving on. Uh, really like uh, uh, the Aztecs a lot. Steve Fisher, like I was saying earlier, uh, a really, really solid coach. And uh, Xavier Thames, a really, really good player, led this team in uh, in scoring and assists. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I just really like the uh, San Diego State uh, Aztecs. Yeah, that's uh, Marshall Falk's old school. He played well. He was a point guard there, right? They they outscored their opponents by 14 points this year. Yeah, averaged that's crazy. Uh, beating them by 14. Uh, best team in the the Midwest Conference. So uh, San Diego State, which has had decent success in the tournament over the last couple of years, uh, I had them. Uh, I have them uh, moving on a little further. So uh, yeah, Ooh. San Diego State. Uh, and then in the next match a matchup, I have uh, of course uh, the uh, the Baylor Bears against the uh, the Creighton Blue Jays. Uh, in this one, I'm going Creighton. Um, mm. uh, I, I've given you guys the reasons for the entire season. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, Creighton, eight wins against the top 50 this year. Uh, so they've been very good against good competition. Uh, and then finally, my last matchup, uh, upset, I have the uh, the upset, Oregon Ducks, Ducks. against the, uh, the Wisconsin Badgers. And yes, Tim, yes. I am going with the uh, the Oregon Ducks. I, I'm not a big fan of Wisconsin either, well like done. Arizona. I think they're yeah. I, I think they're a little overrated. Yeah, We've seen them lose against Nebraska think, and Michigan this month. Yeah, they're overseeded right. at two for sure. I think I think with them as a two seed and Louisville as a four seed is nuts. Yeah, swap those. Swap those maybe, and then I think that'd make a lot more sense. But anyways, continue with you. They love the big um, and, but, and and we can talk about that when we get to Louisville. But do you yeah. guys not think that's just the selection committee sticking it to Rick Pitino for yeah. for saying that Louisville so was going to get a number one? But anyways, yeah, um, we'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah Wisconsin uh, uh, has Frank Kaminsky, a great player, uh, averaging fourteen point seven rebounds all season. Uh, but uh, uh, even. Uh, 
Oregon's best uh, best rebounder, out rebounding him by two rebounds. Uh, James Young for the uh, the Oregon Ducks as well, averaging nineteen almost nineteen points a game. So yes, I have the Oregon Ducks moving on against the Wisconsin Badgers. Two upsets yes. on my side of the bracket. Love it, love it, love the upsets. And we're going to move back to the South Regional, which will be taken the second round by Will Macklin. Hey everybody, my name is Will Macklin. I'll be doing the second round here at the <laughs> South bracket. Uh, I really like the Gators. Sorry guys, have to do it. Uh, I don't want to ride uh, the one all the way, but uh, looking that way at this point. It sucks when you have to do that, eh? Yeah. I know. Like, I want to pick the other team. Like, yeah. No fun. Man, There's so no fun. Why you just like them? the Gators, just, they're just too good at this no, point. You like, can't bet good. against them. I mean, they, they just are just they, too good. They played in a weak conference, but they are and they, but they are really, uh, they are really good. No, Starting know, four seniors. They, uh, That's the big thing in the tournament, man. They have a great point guard presence with Patrick Young and a three-point oh, ace with Michael Frazier. And a great coach. It's just uh, right now. Uh, it's just looking too too much for Gator Nation. Uh, next, we got VCU and then UCLA. Um, <laughs> it's going to continue here. I know everyone likes this uh, Trevin Graham from uh, from VCU, six six foot six guard uh, or wing rather. He can create his own uh, shot. And he's just he's just so good. Uh, just not at this point in my life am I going to be picking VCU, mainly because it's more of a homer pick. I'm kind of like doing the Creighton thing over there with mess around. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be taking the Bruins in that sucker free boss. The next one comes <laughs> up with uh, the Dayton Flyers and the Syracuse Crush. Uh, I talked a little bit with uh, with Dayton just winning. Didn't really get break down the team too much. Uh, the player to watch there is uh, Jordan C- uh, Siebert. Uh, yeah, he was originally on Ohio State uh, and led the Flyers this year uh, 12 and a half points per game and shoots 43.9 percent from deep. This guy is amazing. Uh, he's averaged about 15 points alone in the last 10 wins for them. And I just want to go back. They are five and zero every time first round. So um, if you're going to be making a uh, selection, they're undefeated in the first round. But this is the second round, and we're going to give it to Syracuse. Uh, they're going to be moving on in the next round. C.J. Fair, it's just it's too much, man. They just If they make their shots, it's simple as that. Uh, they're going to be doing this uh, big, big crazy, and the Cues are going to move on. And for my uh, next round, New Mexico first the Kansas uh, Jayhawks, and it's, it's New Mexico, baby. They're going in, and they're going to take on the uh, Kansas Jayhawks, and they're going to win this sucker. Really? Ooh. Really? Yes. It's, no. uh, it's capable. It's going to happen. No. Uh, you got with three players as good as Bearstall, uh, Williams, and Kirk. Uh, the Lobos, I think they're honestly they can make it to the Final Four. So it just I just don't really trust the Jayhawks right now. They've lost too many games like against Texas and um, and other teams like Virginia. They're just not they're not as good as uh, they sh- probably should be. Uh, I love Wiggins, um, but uh, it's going to be Lobos Lobos moving on. And the Jayhawks are uh, seeing their way back to Kansas. All right, so a little upset there. And we're going to send it back over to Tim for the second round of the Midwest Regional. Well, I said it would be Wichita against Kentucky. I believe Wichita is going to be too much for Kentucky. Clay Anthony early is just going to – if he, if the Wichita is going to have a deep push, it's going to be because of him. And Fred Van Fleet is going to be dishing the ball, averaging 5.3 assists. And Clay Anthony early, 15.8 points a game. He's going to be huge for them. I'm going to say Wichita is going to advance past that and get to – the next round and then for the next game I have Xavier against Louisville now obviously I have cheer for Xavier but I don't think they're going to get past Louisville Russ Smith has just been a beast all year 18.3 points per game 4.7 assists I believe Louisville is just too much for Xavier and they will meet Wichita in that next round and then I have Massachusetts against Duke this one was a tough one for me I wanted to go with the upset but I'm sticking with Duke I believe Japari Parker is going to carry Duke into that next round, so sorry, Massachusetts. And then I have Texas against Michigan. Again, I was feeling an upset because I cheer for Texas for everything, obviously more than golf and basketball, but I believe Michigan is going to come away with that. Nick Stauskas is going to have a great tournament. He's going to have a great game, and he's going to carry Michigan into the next round. Yeah, don't you hate when you can't pick the upsets? It's just, just yeah. no fun because I don't really have a ton of upsets in this region either. In fact... I have all four top seeds moving on to the Sweet 16 as I have Virginia taking on George Washington and beating them. I really like Virginia this year. Their defense is amazing, and they can shoot the three ball really well, and that's a pretty good combination, and they can beat tons of really good teams. They took both ACC tournament and conference and regular season play. 
Next we have Cincinnati taking on uh, Michigan State, and this is a really tough one for me, but I think Michigan State's playing way too well to lose uh, to Cincinnati, despite how good Cincinnati is. Next we have Providence taking on Iowa State. Love Providence. I uh, really wanted to pick the upset here, but Iowa State is too good of a team. They shoot the three incredibly well. They're very deep, and they have a really good player in Melvin Edgem. Next, they got Villanova versus St. Joe's. I was so close to picking St. Joe's in this game. I am not sold on Villanova. I think they're overrated as a two seed. Uh, they didn't do very well at all in the biggest tournament. They lost to Seton Hall, who was under 500, and they got a two seed. Again, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, so I, 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 but I am going with Villanova there. Sadly, plus Creighton beat them by 20 points exactly. two times this yeah, year. Sad. Yeah, exactly, Boys. and that's that's another thing that makes me want to take St. Joe's <laughs> is they don't defend the three ball very well, and St. Jones can St. Joe's can hit the three ball. So that is the wrap ups there. And before we take it to commercial uh, to finish off, we're going to send it over to Jamie and to give us a little bit more of a his wrap up on the uh, the first two rounds of these regions. Well, are we doing Final Four after the break? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I wanted to just kind of talk about my Final Four, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> But, no, I mean, uh, I like Will taking Florida. I kind of am going all the way with Florida. I have uh, I think they're pretty strong. We talked about uh, the seniors on their team. Uh, they're pretty pretty darn good. I've got Wisconsin going pretty far, too. I know you guys didn't like Wisconsin, but uh, I don't know. I've, I've watched them a couple times, and uh, I think they're pretty, you know, I, I think they have what it takes to get all the way, although they do have a tough uh, route. I, I, I like Baylor. I have uh, them getting matched up with Baylor. Uh, eventually, Baylor got uh, Brady Heslip, great shooter, mm-hmm. Canadian. <laughs> yeah, Canadian. So uh, that uh, I'm looking at that game. That can, that's going to be a pretty good game if uh, Baylor can get matched up with Wisconsin. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, oh, I don't think uh, w- Wichita State is going to have a very no love, good eh? time in no. the second round. No I actually love. have them beating Kentucky. However, uh, that's going to be a squeaker if they can yeah, if they can get I that one. There. Uh, like Kentucky starts five freshmen, but they are uh, darn good freshmen. Uh, obviously, Julius Randle leading that team, and uh, they they took Florida to the wire in the uh, <clears throat> SEC championship. There, if anyone saw that, yeah. So, and Florida, the best team in the country. So, that's going to be a tough one for Wichita State. I I doubt they'll get past Kentucky, but I have. I, I just hate when uh, you know you, you pick against the number ones and, yeah. and then they go on. It's the worst. Yeah. So uh, I actually have them going on to face Louisville, and uh, Louisville is going to crush them. Yeah, I have that as well. So uh, yeah, we got that uh, going on. Don't I don't see Michigan going very far. They're in the Midwest bracket as well. Uh, they had a pretty terrible game against MSU there uh, at the towards the end. So I don't see them going f- very far. And uh, MSU, Michigan State, actually, they are my dark horse. I uh, I like them too. Yes. Go very far, yes. so cool. watch out. Yep. So we're going to send it to commercial right now. When we're back, we are going to finish off and tell you our final four and our national champion. Possibly touch on a little NFL free agency if we don't run out of time, but we're going to get this bracket done. We'll be right back on Ticket DJ 107.9, The Press Box. Loving Jamie listening to this and serenading himself. CKDJ1079. This is the press box. There's a little guitar solo. We got one shiny moment. Jamie is loving it in the corner over there. (laughs) I told you we had a surprise coming for you. Love it. This is it's time for that one shining moment, gentlemen. It is time yeah, it is. to see who's going to get that one shining deep. moment. It's elite eight time. It is elite eight time. Sorry, yeah, oh, sweet, sweet sixteen, 16. Oh, sweet, sweet sixteen time. 16. We are going to figure out who is going to who is going to win this tournament. We're going to get our final four. Sweet sixteen and pregnant. <laughs> 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 Maybe. We're doing our little who bracket. Knows? We're doing our little bracketology really, here. Going to get our I final mean, four. I wasn't scared with my girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Yeah, we're going to get rolling on the Sweet 16 here. We're going to send it back to Corey Mest for his West Regional. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just give you the three games to give you my Final Four team from the West Perfect. Bracket. Uh, to start out here, we have uh, I have Gonzaga against San Diego State. And, of course, I have Steve Fisher and the San Diego State Aztecs moving on. Ooh. Gotta love Steve Fisher, everyone. I'm telling you, watch the Fab Five documentary yeah, if you true, haven't. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Creighton and Oregon. I've given Creighton a very easy route to the Final Four here, so they will be moving on against Oregon. And then, of course, who would I be? All season I've been on the Creighton Blue Jays, <laughs> so I have the Creighton Blue Jays moving to the Final Four. Love it. Beating the San Diego State Aztecs. And, guys, uh, for Doug McDermott and this Creighton team, does this not like, seem like a very, very good, good bracket? bracket? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, absolutely. You have maybe an overrated Wisconsin team. Uh, you have uh, uh, Arizona, who might be a little overrated, yeah. like who might have been too falling. Perfect for them. Yeah. It is too absolutely. Perfect. Yeah, I think they might. They, they, I think their biggest competition probably is somebody like a San San Diego State. I think uh, San Diego State's got a big chance to get pretty deep in this tournament. But I, I think it's set up perfectly for Creighton as well. So. Uh, Creighton in the final four for Corey Mess. I think we might all agree with that one as well here on uh, here on the show. McBuckets. Yep. We're gonna send it over to <laughs> Will Macklin for his last three games of the South Regional. Hey guys, my name is Will Macklin. I'll be doing this, the rest of the South bracket to figure <laughs> out who's gonna fit into this final four here. Uh, we're looking at Florida and UCLA, the rematch of a couple of years ago of the of their own March Ooh. Madness finale. And I'm going the Gator Nation. Oh. I I just I, when it comes to big games, UCLA just falls flat and earlier this year. I thought they do well against Duke. They just Unless it's shine. a Pac-12 champion, no yeah, heartbreak we'll, city. But like the the season finale, they lost by like 18 points to yeah. the uh, Washington have, State Cougars. So no just, heartbreak city. Yeah. Well, unless no they unless either. they have Jordan Farmar, like uh, <laughs> yeah, no Farmar, no Honeycut. It sucks. <laughs> no <laughs> ecstasy. <laughs> uh, Scotty uh, Wimble- or uh, Wilbekin. Wilbekin will be yeah. uh, be outshining the stars in Brune City. And uh, for myself, I shall be picking New Mexico to Ooh. beat the Cuse. It's over. Ooh. The Lobos. I like that. I like that pick. The Lobos have a rare traditional front court going uh, seven foot, uh, Kurt. And six foot nine bear, uh, bear style up front. Those guys are just too tough to guard, and I, I think it's uh, it's over for the Cuse. And then I have Florida beating New Mexico yep. in the Elite Eight. So you get get a little nothing really little, fancy yeah. after that. Yeah. It's like ooh, crazy New Mexico yeah. pick. Then they lose. <laughs> <laughs> eh, deep run to the Elite Eight is. Uh, I'm sure you got to be happy with New Mexico does that. So we're going to send it back to the Midwest region where Tim will take you to the Final Four. Well, RJ, you're not going to be too happy with this. I have take me to the Final Four, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the time and place. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. It's I have, you're, stadium. You're Get this PG rated. <laughs> you're, have, you're paying. Wichita. You're paying, though. <laughs> well, all right, that's fine with me. I have a Wichita. Yeah! Usually how it goes. <laughs> 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 Uh, they, all right, right, all right. right. I have all Wichita over. over Louisville Ooh. getting to the Elite Eight. Sorry, RJ. I just think Wichita is too strong. Yeah. Unlike you guys, I have them going to the Elite Well, I can't even speak. The Elite Eight. And then on the other side, I have Michigan it's a shocker. beating Duke. I have the one and the twos coming out of the Midwest. And then I have wow. Wichita going Ooh. to the Final Four. What? Believes well, I have in, believes believes in the shocker. Shocker. Going to the Final okay. Four. Believes in the Shockers. The shockers will shock Believes in the Shockers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. no second no. trade strip, trip to the Final Four Tim has there. I do. So my uh, my Sweet 16 has Virginia matched up against Michigan State. This is a really tough game for me. Michigan State's on fire, but I think Virginia no. is the better team. No. I think their defense is going to win. Uh, is going to get them really far. They have the best defense in the entire nation. They've shown it against teams like Duke, and they beat them twice in a row. So I like Virginia in this game. Uh, and then my other game, I have Iowa State taking on Villanova. It hurt me to take Villanova this way. I think Iowa State is going to pound them in the yes. Sweet 16. Ooh. I have, I have, I, I don't think Villanova, Villanova does not defend the three-point shot very well, and Iowa State can bury threes from downtown. I really like Iowa State, so I have them taking on Virginia, where I have the number one seed, Virginia Cavaliers, going to the final four. Ooh. Three number ones. Yep. No fun, line. right? I'll, I'll be the, the one to say that I didn't pick a yeah, number one guy. So, so, uh, I had to, though. I had, like, the yeah, best. This is such this an is, easy practice. Florida's yeah. so this overrated. This is, this is, this they're is, not this getting is, out of the You didn't have to, Will. They're losing to Kansas. All right, guys. Florida's losing to Kansas. You gave me the region where I have my only number one seed going to the Final Four. So, for the Final Four. Yeah, sure. For the one region. Typical RJ. Honestly, I didn't pick a single upset. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> That's the what my girlfriend like, hey, the bracket's already done for me before we started. So, <laughs> auto fill. You probably pick auto fill. Who the put these numbers show. here? <laughs> so our uh, our press box for this show, Final Four, is Virginia taking on Florida. the uh, Florida Florida Gators. Then we have Creighton Blue Jays taking on the Wichita State Shockers. We're gonna go around the table from our Final Four. 
Who is your winners of those games and your national champion? We're going to start off with Corey. Uh, I'm going to have the uh, the Creighton Blue Jays beating uh, the uh, the Wichita uh, State Shockers. A former uh, little rivalry there, exactly. And uh, and you know, I, I feel like if if Creighton would have been in the the MVC, the Missouri Valley Conference this year, I don't think we'd see uh, see Wichita State undefeated. I think no Creighton is going to enjoy defeating Wichita State. And then uh, and then we're going to have uh, on the other side. Uh, I'm going to have uh, uh, Virginia uh, moving on. Yeah. They are going to. Uh, they are going to move to the final against uh, against Florida again. That defense is just uh, is a beast. And then who would I be if I didn't pick <laughs> Creighton yeah. as the national yeah. champions against the Virginia Cavaliers? Doug McDermott goes out a national champion. Probably the lowest rated watch March Madness ever. <laughs> no one would watch that defense versus offense. That's a no great. That's a great that. little. That's no a great one one. Just, There's no buyers. Just, just a great Midwest clash. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wrestling. Like they would buy like that. Jesus. All right. I'm right. going to go. And Florida takes on Virginia. The Gator Nation is going to win that one. And uh, Wichita State's going to beat the Blue Jays. And uh, and I'm going to take the Florida Gators winning it all in this one. Uh, they ran the table this year. And I think they're just going to they're just going to realize how not only good is SEC football, but SEC basketball. SEC. SEC. Very good as well. So Gators. Beat the Shockers in not a Shocker Ooh. in a predictable Ooh. March Madness. Ooh. So we're going to send it over to Jamie here. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, all right, so my Final Four is a little different. <laughs> <laughs> however, <laughs> however. Probably people wondering why we just left you out of the yeah. whole Final Four. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They don't like me very much on this show, apparently. <laughs> only just the Final Five. <laughs> yeah, if only, if only. No, okay, I have Florida. Uh, in the Final Four, playing Michigan State. Yes. Michigan State is going to beat them yes. on their way to the National Final, where they will play the winner of Louisville and Baylor University. Ooh. What? RG3? What? Yeah, is he, he uh, is he he's he's back. Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Is yeah, he he, fine? he's back playing. Uh, yeah, and I got Louisville beating them. So, a uh, Michigan State Louisville final. Four seeds. And uh, I have the Louisville Ooh. Cardinals taking it home. Russ two Smith, straight eh? championships. Russ Rick Pitino, he's just too smooth. Rick he's Pitino, just, the vampire. Another tattoo. <laughs> he's just Again, another tattoo. This time. He's a smooth <laughs> talker. And uh, Russ Smith is also a Rusticulous. He's a smooth talker. Player. The ladies yes. who are not his wife will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> All right, we got we got two minutes left here, Tim. You're gonna do your uh, do yeah, your picks we'll do here. Picks. I have final four. Sorry, Cora. I have Wichita over Creighton. So hopefully you and I can make a little <laughs> side bet on that if you'd like. But I have Wichita coming out of there. If it gets to that point, it, I have yep. Florida. Point, of Florida coming out of that game against Virginia, and then I have Wichita over Florida as my which shocker Whoa. for the March Madness all the National way. Championship. And Just quickly, undefeated yeah. season, the first undefeated, undefeated season all the way. Ooh. I want to give some love to uh, Nick Wiggins, by the way, because I feel like his brother gets all the, uh, the credit. <laughs> all the attention. And he's on an undefeated yeah. basketball team right now. It's true. So. <laughs> hey. It's true. And uh, we're going to go over to my final picks here from our final four. I'm going to go with Corey on Creighton taking on Wichita State. I'm going to say Creighton wins that game. I also do think Creighton is the better team. And if Creighton was in the Missouri Valley Conference, they might be the undefeated team this year. But Creighton moving on to bigger, better things, moving on to the Big East. He's, they're so posh. We'll see. <laughs> can I get Can I get my last thoughts in here before we yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, before we we'll go? let him finish his final. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you were done. I'm sorry. He's the host. He's like, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Your final I'm four sorry. is pretty yeah. unvalid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then I'm going to go with uh, Virginia winning the uh, winning on the other side. And just to be different from Corey, I'm going to take the Virginia Cavaliers to Ooh. win the what? national championship Ooh. this year. What? Defense wins championships, baby. And Virginia Cavaliers are going to win it. And over to Jamie quickly before we finish the show off. Okay, here. we have 40 seconds. Uh, I think the uh, Canadian national champion of the CIS should get an automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. It should have been a thing this year. Uh, Carlton beat number two seeded Wisconsin in the summer. They took Syracuse to overtime. They've been. Where uh, would you see that? They, what? I think it'd be. Cool. I don't know. It's I think, anywhere. No, it doesn't think, matter. They should I be think, in. They should even. I just, I think, I, think, I, think, I think it'd be cool if they played in like the 11 or 12 playing game. I think that'd be really cool. I don't mean it'll never that'd be happen, so sweet. but that'd be really But they sweet. should get in. They, should, they would be competitive. I guarantee it. And multiple uh, people in the NCAA and American basketball have said that Carlton is good enough to play against NCAA teams, and they are. Jamie, and petition that. I will. I'm going to take you it to that. court, and I'm going to sue the NCAA because they're, oh, they're <laughs> nationalists. Oh. There's better things to thing. sue right. the NCAA. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I'm furious. So, 
So, I was your host, RJ Stacey, for Will Mack and Corey Mess, Jamie Hay, and Tim Prober. This was CKDJ, the Press Box March Madness Show. It's going to be an exciting week. Thank you, everybody, for listening, and have a great night. St. Patty's Day.